I'm Maddie Howard. And I'm Marley Moore. Coming up on today's show, we take a look at how volunteers in our community help set up for Christmas and a closer look at our school's bioscience program. Stay tuned, you're watching Moore TV. Hey Oviedo, it's Caroline. Hey Oviedo, I'm Peyton Kane. Oviedo, I'm Kaden Martin. Hey Oviedo, it's Deanna with today. And this is your main five from Building Five. Good morning, Avito. It's Friday, December 15th, and this is Roar, Roar TV, TV Weekly. A few weeks ago, a group of teenagers in our community helped a widow set up for Christmas this year. Here's reporter Will Sun for more. Presents, gifts, and Santa Claus are part of the Christmas tradition. For others, they see it as celebrating the birth of Jesus. But with so many decorations, it takes a lot of energy to set everything up and some may not have all the strength to do it. So I'm not strong enough to do this whole yard by myself. Uh, I do a lot of the decorating as far as putting it together, and I can put some of it up. But as you can see, I have many, many things, and I just can't get it all done by myself. So I always have got volunteers to come and help me. We came out to help uh, Miss Betty with her decorations because it's just a way that we get to give back um, from the church. And she is a great partner at the church, and she helps out so much, does so much around there. It's just a small way that we can give back uh, to her because of all that she gives to us. I just heard that Miss Betty needed help cleaning uh, or setting up her decorations, and I was like, all right. I'll come. You know, I believe that I have an able body and I can, I can do a lot, so I should be using that to help others if I can, if they need help in any way, because not everyone does have an uh, able body. The church decided to host a volunteer help for Betty every year on Christmas because of how much she does for the church. She cares for our our church, our church staff so well. Um, she, she donates so much of her time and her energy and, and resources uh, to the church. Uh, she is very active in our missions department. She gives um, to our missions trips and helps support people go and travel and do all types of things. And she's just a great, uh, great member of the church. But besides helping impact the church, many of the volunteers decided to just come help out because they want to see how they impact others with their support. Um, it's also nice to see the impact, to see the um, effect that I've had on other people, even for just doing simple things like help set up decorations. These volunteers learned a great lesson. You can always help a friend out. For OTV, I am Wilson reporting. The American Legion in the state of Florida have been conducting Boys and Girls State for over 75 years, where each student becomes a part of the operation of their local county and state government. Oviedo Memorial Post 243 is now accepting applications from high school juniors to attend the 2024 Boys State Session. Juniors, please look in your email for the application and YouTube video for more information. Are you in need of help in your English class? You can get help with understanding your English assignments, comprehending your novels, and improving your writing and grammar during English tutoring from Thursdays to 2.30 and 3.30 in Ms. Camerod's room. If you have any questions or want to make an appointment, please stop by Ms. Camerod's room in Building 8, room 236. Good morning Lions, just want to go over some safety protocols we'll be using during the last few days of this semester. For the final three days of our semester, we will be conducting exams on a half day schedule and there are some changes to our usual protocols for the safety and security of our campus. Students are to remain in their scheduled classes for the duration of the class period. Students cannot leave their scheduled classrooms. The only exception is if a student is completing work in class for another teacher. Students must first obtain permission from the teacher you are scheduled to have and the teacher who you would like to complete work for prior to attempting to leaving the classroom. For example, 
Let's say you are in your first period class and you complete your test in that first period class. You would like to complete a test in your second period class. You should plan ahead and ask your first and second period teachers if it is okay for you to do so a few days prior. This is the only reason that you will be allowed to leave your classroom during any testing period. Please note that all students are prohibited from being, bringing bags or backpacks during our testing half days. If student athletes have bags for after school practice, they will need to store those within their coach's office or the athletics department. Lastly, in order to maintain exam integrity, students will not be allowed to check out early before the conclusion of exams each day. We wish you a restful break and we look forward to seeing you next year. Go Lions! Now let's take a closer look at our school's bioscience program. Here's reporter Allison Alfred for more. Here at Oviedo High School, we have the biotechnology program, which is a four-year program. The freshman year, they learn how to use the instruments mostly and the concepts behind them. Second year, we do a lot with DNA. Um, and third year, we do a lot with proteins and a lot more assays. So like they learn how to do an ELISA test or basically how the home COVID test works using antibodies and how a pre home pregnancy test works using antibodies. In all levels of biotechnology, students participate in many labs and projects throughout the year. Um, we did a mealworm lab. So a mealworm is like a, a worm with regener regenerative um, capabilities, so it can regenerate. So we got, e each of us got a couple of worms and we could like name them and personalize it. And we literally cut them in half and we analyzed it over a span of like 10 days and they would grow back to their original size. And um, it was a really cool experiment. Like we didn't, we didn't think we would see anything like that. The project that we just worked on, which was a drug project where we had to like create our own drug name and brand, and then we had to create an infomercial advertising it. And we did sildenafil, and basically it treats pulmonary arterial hypertension. Students in the biotechnology program are already looking ahead towards their futures. Um, the AP biology class I'm taking, they go really well together. They talk about a lot of the same topics. And because of that, I get a really good understanding of it because I learn about it here and in AP biology. So this class, biotech, really prepares me for those college classes that I'll have to take in the future. I have many students who have gone on to vet school and med school who tell me that microbiology was like the easiest class they took because basically we did everything in their, that they're doing in their university microbiology class. So that's the kind of thing that I think is um, the program is most helpful for. When picking your classes for the 2024 to 2025 school year, make sure to consider signing up for biotechnology. I'm Allison Alfert, signing off. I'm Esther Guevara with your O-Town Sports Weekly Update. Monday, girls varsity basketball won 45-44 over the Masters Academy on Leah Hopkins' go-ahead basket in the final seconds. She led with 7 points and 15 rebounds. Varsity girls soccer defeated Lake Mineola by forfeit after scoring 9 goals by halftime. On Thursday, they defeated Seminole 3-0. Girls weightlifting beat Lake Howell on Wednesday and were led by Calista Sonner with a 200-pound clean and jerk. On Wednesday, boys basketball beat Lake Brantley 48-31. Last night, they were defeated by Edgewater 83-67. That's all for our weekly O-Town Sports Update. Now back to our anchors. Exams start today, so good luck to all students on your seventh period exams. Next week, we will resume testing before the semester ends on Wednesday. That's all we have for you this week, Evito. Have a great day, and as always, Go Lions! Go Lions.